I'd like to introduce you to the Escort Elf Pump. The Elf Pump is very similar to the Escort in its physical appearance, and we will also be selling it in kits similar to the Escort Pump. Single unit kits and also five unit pump kits and five unit pump kits with Geminis. And what does make the Escort Elf different from the Escort? Well, let me start by explaining what Elf stands for. Elf stands for Electronic Laminar Flow. Now what is laminar flow? Uh, laminar flow is smooth flow. It's the opposite of turbulent flow. Let me give you a few examples to help explain that. The first example is an airplane flying through the air. Normally the airplane is flying through and there's laminar flow across the wings of the airplane. However, every once in a while, as you've experienced, the flow is not laminar and then you experience turbulent flow, which is the turbulence that makes the plane bounce up and down. Another example to explain laminar flow is if you've ever been in a room that has real still air and there's someone in there who is smoking a cigarette, you can notice that the smoke rises almost straight in a smooth path. That also is an example of laminar flow. And if there's an air current coming, it will break that up into different particles, and that once again is turbulent flow. So th the pump itself works on the laminar flow principle. Let's take a look at the inside of the Escort Elf Pump to see how it works. To do so, I have already removed the four screws, so all I need to do is to remove the battery pack and open up the front face. This exposes the internal components. The airflow comes in through the filter on top of the pump and into the pulsation dampener. The pulsation dampener eliminates the spikes of airflow and evens out the airflow. From there, the air passes into the pump itself, and there, from there it passes into the laminar flow element. The laminar flow element, which I just showed you inside the pump, is a hollow cylinder of porous stainless steel with very narrow passages. The air flows through these narrow passages and produces an air pressure difference between the outer and the inner walls of the cylinder. This difference in pressure is measured by the differential pressure sensor also located inside the Escort ELF pump. The electrical signal from this sensor is linearly related to the airflow through the laminar element, and that is only true if there is laminar flow. If we did not have laminar flow, this relationship between the signal and the flow would be a curve. As you can see, this is why laminar flow is so important to our flow detection method. This signal is then compared to the flow set point on the pump and is used to control the flow so that it is at the set point. Deviations in the flow rate, when sensed, cause the motor to compensate to bring the flow rate back to the set rate. What makes the electronic laminar flow sensor and the Escort ELF so special? As you can see, I have the Escort ELF beside the Escort pump. Um, you can see the flow meter and the Escort pump. There is no flow meter on the Escort ELF pump. The Escort ELF pump has an LCD display of the flow rate. Because of this electronic laminar flow sensor, the flow is actually more accurate. Typical flow meters for anyone's pumps are plus or minus 5% of full scale. This is because flow meters are a mechanical device, and as flow gets down very low, the sensitivity due to friction or dust particles that may be in, in the um, photometer keep the ball from going exactly where it should be. With the ELF, the accuracy is much better. It's plus or minus 2.5% at flow rates between 1 and 3 liters per minute, and at lower flow rates between 0.5 and 1 liter per minute, it's plus or minus 5%. The electronic laminar flow sensor also provides a constant flow, which is unaffected by pressure drop, that is putting on a, a sampling cassette or a charcoal tube or any type of sampling media and it's also unaffected by atmospheric pressure changes. The third advantage of the electronic laminar flow sensor 
is that it provides an internal flow rate standard with which we can calibrate the pump. The Escort ELF pump still has all the great features of the Escort pump. Some of the highlights of these are the gaskets which provide the water dust tightness. The Escort ELF can be sprayed with water to clean or run into a shower for decontamination. It also has a stainless steel filled fiber plastic case that helps protect it against RFI. And it has an elapsed timer as a standard option of the pump. We will not have an Escort ELF pump without an elapsed timer. New to the Escort ELF pump and also now new on the Escort pump is a captive charging jack plug. As you can see, the charging jack plug is captive to the battery pack. This charging jack plug helps keep the pump watertight. And you can also see there is an Omega symbol on here telling the user that they should use an Omega charger. So you just pull out the rubber plug and you can insert the Omega charger into the charging jack. Now let me show you how to operate the Escort ELF pump. To begin, I loosen the screw on the tamper resistant door, turn the door so it's out of the way. The pump also has a two second delay on the on off switch similar to the Escort. But you'll notice as I turn it on, first the run hold LED will come on, then the flow fault, and finally the low battery light before the pump itself actually turns on. I had this preset at two liters per minute. Right now it's working up to that two liter per minute time. And it takes really very little time to get up to two liters per minute. As you can see, the display alternates between the flow, two liters per minute, and the time, zero minutes, and back to the flow. This is where the flow is displayed. Instead of being on a flow meter, it is displayed on the LCD. All the other options, as far as run hold, flow fault, and low battery are similar to the Escort, so I will not go into those. Uh, what I will show you how to do next is how to adjust the flow rate. At the same